Lil Meech is Big Meech's son, right? So he's been arrested on fraud and grand theft charges in Miami. This is his son, obviously Big Meech, BMF. We know the story, right? So according to several confirmed reports, Demetrius Lil Meech Flannoy Jr. has been arrested and charged with first-degree organized fraud and first-degree grand theft. The rising actor of Stars BMF series is now facing 60 years in prison if he's convicted. So the 22-year-old son, the famed drug king Demetrius Big Meech Flanor, uh, Flanori was arrested in Miami for the charges. But being the uh, but being that the rankings of that type of crime in Florida is so high, it's likely that the feds will be taking over jurisdiction. So now, Lil Meech has potentially set him up for a fed case. Because and we'll, we'll read, let, let's, let's just read what, what they, they did. Okay, so they're not going to fucking detail what he did. I think no jumper detail what he did right here. Or TMZ did. So, the 22-year-old actor, rapper, handpicked by 50 Cent Star and his dad, Big Meech, the Stars BMF series, got booked on two counts of first-degree grand theft, a separate count of organized fraud on March 14th. Cops say the actor walked into Miami's Haumav Jewelers back in February put out the pay, a payment on a Richard Milley using his $80,000 Platinum Rolex, but he allegedly failed to pay the remaining $200,000 balance and never returned the watch. Cops also accused him of trying to trade the watch for a different Richard Milley piece at a different store. I just don't know. I, I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. I just don't know how stupid you can be to be handpicked. Obviously, it's your daddy, so it only makes sense for you to play your daddy in the TV show, uh, BMF. I mean, it's your dad betray your father. How you want to betray your father? But to have, I just, I, I get never, and I never give a pass. I can never give a pass to people who have a career trajectory of success that will continue to continue. It's just, it's like a domino. Everybody we're seeing continually doing dumb thing after dumb thing after dumb thing. There's so many people that would love to be in a lot of these people's positions. There's so many people that would love to be a millionaire, be able to buy their family a house, buy the car, go to the parties, do these things. But these guys continuously fuck it up. And I don't know if it's because of social media. Like, you're little Meech, your dad's big Meech. Maybe he feels like I got to live up to, you know, that thing. I can, and, if he, and I can tell you, brother, if you feel like that, nobody is looking at you to be like your daddy. Nobody is looking at you to be the next big gangster in the world. Nobody's looking at you like that. And this, I don't think it's petty. Like, this isn't a petty crime. It doesn't compare to the crimes that, you know, his dad was convicted of. But, you know, when you try to rip off people for $200,000, that's a, that's a, that's a steep amount of money and to risk your freedom he's 22 years old his dad got 30 years in the feds i think his dad's been there since what 2006 his dad's been there for 20 years when you see all that how that's affected your family how that probably affected your father why in turn would you when well, you don't have to it's not even the fact that you know maybe your dad was a drug kingpin and you still in the hood you still in the streets so you got to survive and you pick up the same way that your dad. That's different. But when you remove from that, you in Hollywood, 50 Cent got you on. BMF is a great show. Plenty of more seasons to come. I'm willing to risk it all to keep up this image, to keep up this imagery of BMF, big money, big cars, beautiful women. Like, that's stupid. And honestly, if you got 60 years, it's like, I mean, I think that's kind of steep. I get it. The people want their $200,000. I get that. He didn't kill nobody. He didn't murder nobody. So 60 years is a steep sentence. But they end up being, well, what's $200,000? We got sentenced to prison for five years. I wouldn't be so like, you know, oh, no, it's injustice. Like, bro, you got to think before you do shit. I don't think these guys think. I really think. A lot of guys who I feel like if you if you sat down a line of guys whose dads were of a certain cloth, whether they were like big time gangsters in their time, I would I, you know what I would love for somebody to do, I, to do a show about that. Lives of the children of notorious gangsters, right? I would love to see Jay Prince's kids. 
all sat down together. I would love to see like Larry Hoover's son, who we've seen running around with Kanye, Big Meech's son, Big Meech's brothers. I, I would just love to see just the array of what these people think, feel, and do. Because I just want to see the contrast between all of them and how they act and how they interact with each other. Because this to me, trading your $80,000 Rolex to get a richer meal, not paying off the balance of that one, and trying to trade that in for something else, to me, it feels like I am trying to keep up an image. I am trying to keep up this BMF image. I am Lil Meech. My dad is Big Meech. I know I will always probably live in that shadow as far as in the culture of, you know, because BMF is like a part of hip-hop culture, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I will always be in the shadow of my father. So I have to figure out a way to make myself stand apart. Could only wonder what El Chapo's kids go through. Well, El Chapo's kids, they running the shit still. I don't think like like I said, when Big Meech didn't go to jail, like I, Little Meech uh was born 2000, so he was like five years old, I think, when his dad got raided and arrested and locked up. So he wasn't gonna run the shit. So Chapo's kids, they running the shit. We saw what happened with El Chapo's kids, they don't fuck around. One of them brothers got arrested, the whole whatever cartel they run was wreaking havoc through the city. And you know what them police in Mexico did? Cut them loose. Let them go. Let them go. So that's like another, see that is like another level of notorious drug kingpin gangsters children. Because they're just like, really, they're following in their father's footsteps at that point. But yeah, I just could never understand people who have a, who have a good thing going for them that are willing to throw it away for the image, social because because that's what I feel like to 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 steal a Richard Millie is only for Instagram. It's only for image. It's only for status. It's only for select. That's all that is for. And if you can sit to jail for sixty years, I'll sit here and be like, "Damn, that's a little steep." Sixty years is like that. That's crazy. But at one point, you'd be like, you know what? I don't. I don't feel the need to have to uh, to keep up with because I really feel like this. Like I'm trying to keep up with my father's like image. I'm trying to keep up with the BMF brand. I'm trying to keep that alive while my dad is still in prison. But it's like, bro, just make the TV show. It's, to keep your dad's brand image whatever alive, just make the TV show. But I, I, I just, I just, I, I just never. I will never understand getting to a pinnacle of some sort of success and being willing to throw it away for something so minuscule as flossing with a Richard Millie wife. You already had the platinum Rolex that I guess you paid 80000 for. Just wear that motherfucker. Just wear that one.